Well, here are the new Russian champions. Angelika Krylova, a world bronze medalist two years ago with Vladimir Fedorov, now skating with a new partner, Oleg Ovsienikov. And with the world and Olympic champions, Gritschuk Platov not here because of injury. This is the top-rated Russian team in third place. Well, their coach, Natalia Linichuk, said that the reason she split with her old partner was because he was making too many mistakes. But she says her new partner allows her to be free, and she has blossomed with her new partner. important to point out right now that as you watch this program watch the intricacy of the steps because when you watch it and compare it to that of Rakamokoko who are due up shortly I think you'll see a marked difference. Bob, if I was one of the boys on Bay Street and I was looking for a buy in the ice dance department, it would be this team. I see their stock going nowhere but up. They've had some fairly outstanding success for a team that's only been together since May. They won the Pro-Am in Philly in late November. They're the current Russian champions. And for a team that's only been together that long, some fairly remarkable achievements. I really like them. I think it was a very difficult free dance. I didn't find at all times they were completely in sync, but that's only because they've only been together since May. I see this team has a lot of potential. Angelika Krylova and Oleg Ovsienikov of Russia.
Their coaches, Natalia Linichek and Addy Karponosov, looking on. Angelika just seems so much more at ease with this partner. Well, ice dancing is partly about chemistry. Actually, I think it's more than partly. It's a lot about the chemistry that goes on between the two skaters, and to have this much happening this soon is a great sign. Technical marks, five fives, sixes, and a 5.7 from the Ukraine. And now the artistic marks. They have seven 5.7s and all nine first place ordinals so far for Krolova and Ovsienikov of Russia. <laughs> 